Hello, and welcome to a new edition of You News, where you get You News. Starting off with quite literally a bang earlier this week, Certic released a warning that a rug pull on the project Nut to Earn was taking place to the tune of $410,000. Just like a virgin on prom night, this nut was over pretty quickly. But the most surprising thing was that the rug pull took an entire 45 minutes, which is a lot longer than it would have taken most of its holders. I'm sorry, nut to earn what, exactly? A lifetime subscription to Jergens Lotions and Puffs Plus Tissues? How are you supposed to prove your utility with this one? Connect your wallet to a sperm bank or just a camera in your mother's basement? Seriously. Over in the gray area of digital fiat, Citi has chosen a new head of digital assets. A former Lehman Brothers employee will oversee Citi's treasury and trade solutions. His name is Ryan Ruggs. Only time will tell if his last name is just a noun or will also double as a verb. I wish that everything I said just now was made up, but none of it was. Moving into douchebag land, Martin Shkreli, the former pharma bro most well known for price gouging and AIDS medication, recently lost 95% of his crypto project due to a porn file virus. The file named Big Tits Round Asses cost him at least $450,000 in crypto, which would be one of the first times this asshole has not profited from a virus. The team at U News has not obtained the name of the project Pharma Bro was working on, but the recent rug pull of Nut to Earn being taken down quickly by Big Tits Round Asses looks like a promising lead. Far away in some incredibly delusional land, Tara Luna's CEO, Do Kwon, broke his silence for an interview, finally saying, quote, I bet big and I think I lost, end quote. That's like me shitting my pants after eating ice cream and saying, I think I'm lactose intolerant. A recent tweet from his account, Stable Kwan, revealed his newfound revelation that decentralized networks need decentralized money. In other news, air needs oxygen. In a weather update, Tornado Cash became the second cryptocurrency mixer to be slapped with sanctions by the U.S. government for playing a central role in helping organize money laundering for cryptocurrency hacks. Later, Dutch authorities arrested Tornado Cash's developer for involvement in concealing criminal financial flows and facilitating money laundering with the service. This is ridiculous. Why would anyone feel the need to conduct private transactions in crypto or fiat anyway? Especially when you can publicly and knowingly commit fraud, rug tokens, commit theft, and insider trading of not just crypto, but stocks too. There's zero consequence. It's all good, guys. We're all gonna make it. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac's of course, and I'll see you next week.